Hi guys, Artem here and today I'd like to talk about Curiosity, your own personal search engine. By connecting Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Notion, Twitter, YouTube and also many different sources to Curiosity, you will be able to search in one place in all of those data stores, right? So basically it allows you to create your own personal search engine. There is one very important remark I'd like to make. Curiosity is an application you install on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. By the way, I'm really glad guys are supporting Linux, so you can even install Curiosity on your Steam Deck. Take that, Nintendo Switch. So anyway, my point is Curiosity gets installed on your own machine. It's not a cloud service. It gets installed on your own machine and it indexes information locally. So all the data sources you connect will not be sending information to Curiosity, you know, servers. It all stays locally. It's pretty awesome, so let's check it out. So in order to get started, just go to curiosity.ai, download application for your platform. They support Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Thank you very much for supporting Linux. I always love to see companies supporting Linux. So once you have installed, downloaded and logged into Curiosity, you can start adding data sources. As you see here, I have clipboard, so I can search my clipboard history. I have Notion, added Slack, Google Chrome, so I can search history in Google Chrome, for example, and bookmarks, LinkedIn, Gmail, uh, Twitter, and also my calendar. You can add many, many different data sources. You can add local data sources such as network drives and local folders and so forth. But there are many, many different um, data sources that are supported already. But you can also vote on the future ones. So here I have voted for Evernote because Evernote is awesome and I have a lot of data in Evernote and I hope Curiosity will start supporting Evernote soon. Once you have connected data sources, an indexing process will start. What is indexing? Basically, Curiosity will fetch that uh, will fetch data from those data sources you have connected, and it will create a database on your computer. Mind you, it will be a local database. It will not be created on Curiosity servers. It will use your own computer. So here you see that my uh, database is located here and it's pretty hefty over six gigs. So the more data sources you add to Curiosity, the bigger the index size will be. This is, I think, is a good trade-off for privacy. If you want privacy, you have to store things locally and this is absolutely fine. I actually have uh, NVMe RAID 0 installation where I have this file. So it's very, very fast. For me personally, no issue whatsoever. Even if this becomes 60 gig or maybe even 100 gig, I don't care. I take this approach any day compared to storing all my data on a server that I have now access to and server that potentially anybody can have access to. So Curiosity is very much privacy centric approach and I really appreciate it but it comes with some downsides as well and here the downside is that it will use your computer for indexing your computer resources and the index will be stored locally as well so once indexing process starts it might actually take quite a few hours even a day or maybe two depending how many data sources you have connected right again no problem there because you can start using curiosity right away and once indexing is done, you'll be able to search all the data, right? But in the beginning, you'll be able to search only most recent data, which is usually fine in order to get started. But once you have added your data sources, let's see what you can actually do with Curiosity. Once you have data sources added to Curiosity, you can start searching for information using Curiosity. So if you just hold Alt and press uh, space, you'll be able to see Curiosity window and you can just start 
searching, you can start typing. You can just type, for example, Jane, and it will show you search results for this keyword across all the data sources you have added, which is awesome. You can also narrow it down. So for example, if you want to search only for contacts, you can say to Curiosity, hey, show me only contacts that match this specific search, right? And you will see contacts, which is awesome. If you want to, for example, search for files, you can do that. If you want to use Curiosity as a calculator, you can do that. You can just start typing equations. Boom, and you see the result. And if you uh, press enter on the result, it will be copied to clipboard, right? Which is awesome. Really, really, really good. If you want to search for, I don't know, messages, including Slack messages, for example, you can do that easily as well. Pretty damn awesome. If you want to fine tune your search, you can hold down Control, Alt and press space, and that will summon Curiosity window where you have a lot more filters so you can fine tune your search. So here, if I search for Jane and press enter, I see that there are 2,491 hit, right? Um, so I need to definitely narrow this down. I can just click source, choose, for example, Gmail. Then I go to type and then choose file. And then I can also uh, say, hey, I want only search results for last, I don't know, like 90 days. Boom. And now I have only five hits. So this is pretty damn awesome. To be honest, Curiosity is still kind of like in a beta stage, in my opinion. It still can be a bit rough around the edges, but I think this is very promising software and a very awesome service. I personally purchased lifetime license through AppSumo. You will see the link in the description. And I will also link to Curiosity's pretty awesome cheat sheet where you can see all the comments and shortcuts and all that good stuff. So I wanted to support the company and I forked over my cash and paid for the lifetime license, which was, I think, very well priced. It was only $59, I think. But again, you can use Curiosity for free. There are a few limitations. You can only connect five cloud apps. But in my case, I have connected how many? Yeah, I have connected like eight, eight apps. So I'll be fine with five as well. I just wanted to support the company and make sure they have enough funding so that they can continue developing this awesome service. Yeah, that's it. And remember, if you like this type of content, like, subscribe, click all the buttons, share, you know, all that good stuff. Have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye bye.